Welcome, welcome to Love and Hips TV. Welcome. We back. Hello. Happy Sunday. We back in the building. Hey. <laughs> Happy All Sunday, everybody. Hey. I'm hey, girl. girl. Because let lives matter. matter. What's up, people? That's right. You had to get that in, didn't you? I did. Right. Started off early. Started on, on. There we go. <laughs> Let's crank it up now. And we've been quarantined, so we're so Hi, Tony. Uh uh, you know what? I no. don't <laughs> I done let go of that of that quarantine life for just a second, y'all. I had to get away for a minute. Girl. What? They yes. done lifted everything. These people ain't studying no quarantine. But they need to though. Like they still yes. having parties, they still the going out. Is up. I did. I went on a little road trip because, you know, sister had to get away yeah, for a minute. I see. It was amazing. I had a good time. You know, so if you work hard, you got to play hard and you got to and you got to let let loose sometimes. So I, and it was really basically just about relaxation. I was just only gone for a couple of days, went down to Florida yeah. and uh, <laughs> and uh, did as the Floridians did for a minute and put my toes in the sand and, 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 play, and played in the ocean. Quarantine. Honey, I was, How was down there, Toy. It was busy and people busy. was acting like it wasn't uh, so right. it wasn't no coronavirus. Oh, uh, so you know, I just had to practice and use my good common sense. Well, there you go. Okay. All right. I, I I kept was my there a lot of people on the beach. We had our own space on the beach. It was all good. You stay in your area, I'll stay in mine. So did you guys wear masks to the beach? No, no girl. <laughs> I ain't wearing no mask can't on the beach now. I can't even breathe. Some, breathe. Some, cute, some cute sunglasses and a bathing suit. Hey. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I'm glad you have that on. We, 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 we seen that swimsuit on yeah, Facebook. you know what? Did you see it? I said, get it, girl. We showing all that skin. At this in point in my life, it's like <laughs> take it or embrace it. it, take it or leave it. You know what? It is what it is. Oh, so, well, you show You know, it, you got to love you in order for everybody, anybody well, else to love you. We know okay. you love you because okay, you bear it all. I did. And it was a time in my okay. life I wouldn't be called dead in a bathing suit like that, much less to expose it on Facebook. Okay. So y'all oh, okay. so see me. <laughs> okay. But okay. that was Stella. That was my weekend. So what's been going on with y'all, lady? Well, let's talk about our billboard. Love and hip. Yeah. Let's talk about that. Woo! That's love and hip. So if y'all ain't know, y'all don't know about the billboards. The billboards are up. We so in and around Atlanta, so you know, look out for us, y'all. We coming. We coming. We coming. <laughs> now, all the, we got love and hips in the building. I appreciate our billboard. We got, of course, myself, KP, in the building. Okay. So you know, we we doing big things over here, love and hips TV. Mm -hmm. We making moves. We getting, right. you know, we growing. Mm -hmm. We doing, you know, we better yeah. than what we was. Well, it's like we grow. Like last year was. You know, now we're we're ready. We've arrived. We're, we're making arrived. our dreams reality. <laughs> That's, right. That's right. It's time to make moves in 2020. So what's going on in Anna's world? Oh, Anna's world. It's just been boring as usual. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wow. just trying. You to, still well, about that quarantine life, girl? Yes, I'm. I'm just really trying to quarantine because I have a baby. You know, I have a three year old. I got so a too. I know, but I'm. You know, I'm just a little over the top. Yeah, mm. you know, because he's been inside for about three months now, and I'm just scared. Like, I not feel like fair to keep that it's baby not fair, in the house. But you know what? It's better safe than sorry. So you can mm -hmm. take him out for a walk in the neighborhood. Well, yeah, we go I mean, outside. We go outside. This time. Yeah, it's not like yeah. we're inside the house, but yeah, we go outside. Oh, baby. We, yeah, we do. Auntie's we, gonna come get you. <laughs> oh, I don't know where uh, Auntie Ben, so I don't know about that. Uh, Auntie, oh, but I'm gonna come get you and hang yeah. out with me and uh, KD over there. That's right. Yeah, he's ready for for some for some playtime. For so. some playtime, you yes. know. It's hard on everybody. It's hard on these moms. I was talking to my homegirl that I went on my little road trip with, and we were talking about. Uh, how it's got to be hard for these parents being at home all of this yes, time. I'm ready for him to go to she was speaking though. to one of her friends. She said, Lord, she's depressed. She was depressed. I had to go do an intervention. I just had to pop up <laughs> at her house and check up on her because she's she been in the house with her kids too long. So oh, God. Every, that's why I said everybody just needs to take a little break and get your kids out, put them in the car, do an old school way, take a, take a road trip. You know, y'all ain't got to do no whole lot getting out and shopping and all that kind of stuff. But just get your, get your kids out. 
so you can keep your sanity. Right. <laughs> I keep my sanity. Oh, shoot. There you go. I, I should, keep my sanity, too. Daddy. Oh, okay. daddy. And that's a good thing, too, honey. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you got to give them up and give them to somebody else for a few minutes. Mm-hmm. Just be safe days. doing it. A few days. A few days. I know. That's okay, why you well, in here all bright and everything. Just smile. Yeah, she's having a good time. <laughs> yeah. I had a great week. Oh, that's so, good. good. Yes. That's good. I saw your post about your, your, your home. Yes. So I just want to say congratulations again. It's Thank coming you. along. Everything is coming along. Yeah. I appreciate it. I know, you know, of course, with the coronavirus and a lot's going on, but I put my post out there. If anyone wants to donate, cash app me <laughs> to help me furnish that big old pretty house of mine. <laughs> it's, my cash app is beautifully bold, so I welcome all donations, gift cards, anything. Can't give you the address to drive by, but <laughs> yeah. hopefully you'll be able to have a yeah. housewarming eventually. Yeah, hopefully yeah. eventually. If not, <laughs> it is what it is. It's mine. Okay. Well, there you go. All right. Amen. So. <laughs> well, that's what's it up with us for the Love and Hips news for today. Oh, what's what's going on? The only what's drinking? going on? Nobody in the else. Oh, no, we you know. I got my little yeah. drink right here. Yeah, we got yeah. a little drink. A drink. This is what keeps us safe. <laughs> But After y'all, we week. are gonna have an amazing show today. Yes, yes. we are. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, we got our topic. Anna, what's going on with our topic for today? We can go ahead and tell the viewers. What's yeah. Going. So our hot topic for the day is: Would you delete your social media for a healthy relationship? Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. So you guys stay tuned for that, and yes. um, you can go ahead and call in later on to the show at four seven zero two five one four six four seven. And of course, we're going to be talking to Miss KP. We're going to do another episode of Around the House with KP. So she's going to uh, tell us, give us some juicy information about what's going on and uh, keep up what with she's my life, been, honey. Keep, keep up, up with, with my her life. life. Keeping up with KP. Put your skate on. <laughs> keep up with my That's life. Right. <laughs> Around the House with KP. So we're going to be doing that. But main thing today, we are going to be talking to R&B legend Tony Terry, y'all. Woo! Yes, Tony. So we are so excited to be talking to him. Uh, we talking to him quarantine style. He couldn't be here with us, but he is here with us. I'm He's gonna so talk sad. to us. I, I know so it. Sad. I just I wanted to see that beautiful face in the building, but you know it is what it is right That's now. Right. I wanted to reach out and touch your hand. Oh. <laughs> no, she read. Look, she read the preach. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, yes. Out. <laughs> we carry it out because we got Tony right here. Don't do that, Tony. We've been quarantined a little too long. We need you to, you know, we stay some put. wolves over here yeah. now. Oh, so. These ladies, they vultures, Tony. They vultures. <laughs> you're lucky you're on Zoom, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> so Dang. we got Tony Terry uh, coming to us live uh, via Zoom. Yes. All right. Right. So uh, welcome, and uh, we're going to watch our little intro for Tony, and we're going to get it started. All right. Let's go. Cheers. Coming up on the next Love and Hips. Like the river, I've been running ever since. It's been a long, long time coming, but I know a change gonna come. Oh, yes, it will. show y'all we have got uh tony terry via live zoom with us today hey tony hey tony hey wait 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 what's up ladies what's up <laughs> tony, <laughs> we, we seen you laughing over there what you what we you was laughing you, at you was you was laughing at the, all, the pictures that we put up <laughs> yeah yeah i was those, those visuals were killing me they was killing me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. oh. it was like yes well, it is so good to see your face. We wish you could have been here with us, Tony. 
I know. Listen, I I didn't think that we were gonna be this wide open. We planned this a couple of weeks ago, right? We yeah. Still kind of locked out. I didn't yeah. think we were gonna be this wide open. I would have come down there. I'm I'm right here in the midtown. Well, come on, come, come on, on. Tony. We're waiting for you. <laughs> yeah, come on. We got about. We're gonna, we gonna push the show back. We're gonna you. stop this show right now. <laughs> we got 40 minutes, Tony. Go get dressed quickly. <laughs> Commercial <laughs> break. You know how to do That's it fast. Stuff. How y'all doing? Y'all good? <laughs> yeah, we're good. How about yourself? Uh, well, let me say, you guys, you ladies look beautiful. I'm good. Really thank, good. You. thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Well, welcome to really well. Love and Hips TV. As you can see, we're a little crazy. We we're a little crazy. We like yeah, to have yeah, a lot of fun that. out here. <laughs> I know crazy, that. sexy, cool. <laughs> yep. So I saw you have put your put your guns up. Do that again. <laughs> do that, do, do it again that one more time. Audience. Audience. Come on now, yes, yes. <laughs> so we gonna delve into I've been, I've been it. we gonna delve into that with you because I know you've been doing some training. You're doing some training videos. Yeah, yeah. And stuff. We've been running Stone Mountain in the back. Wait a minute. What time you be at Stone Mountain so I can come? Y'all should join us. Come, I'm come coming. Us. Bad me and all. We're coming. Tomorrow morning, y'all want to get on the mountain? Oh, no. I don't know about tomorrow. Oh, no. I don't know about tomorrow. I got to work. I got to work. Not tomorrow. Not tomorrow, but I'll put it. Wait, wait. What time y'all get off work? What time would you be available to go to the mountain? On the weekends. On the weekends? After 5. After five, yeah, we'll yeah. do one this weekend. Oh, we can do one. We sure okay, can. Okay, yeah, we'll we can do, do one this weekend. Saturday. Now, okay. I'm challenging you to be on the mountain. It's a challenge. Yeah, I was about to say, Tony, is that okay. a challenge? Now, don't, a challenge. Tony, don't be rushing me. Now, let me take my time going up that big old mountain. Exactly. Now, see, we're going to make it up the mountain, <laughs> but you're going to have to carry us down the mountain. Oh, Lord. <laughs> it's about challenging yourself. Sure. You're right. Okay, you got that right. I'm definitely going to do that. Spoken like a true trainer. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, just want to get on into it with you. Um, how long have you been singing, Tony? Oh man, uh, professionally just since nineteen eighty two. Since nineteen eighty two. Oh wow. Okay. okay. Yeah, a long time. That was way before I was born. But okay. you know, I've been I was singing my whole life. I grew up singing. Wow. Church. Okay. You have a beautiful voice. I um. Thank you. I yes. did see Gorgeous. you recently. I think it maybe was it a challenge or something that you did um, because of all of everything that's going on. Did somebody ask you to do a video or something? Which challenge was it? Which challenge? I'm uh, not he sure. got the whole world in his hands. All right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I saw yes, you do that, that one. one. Yes. That's the Tyler Perry one, right? Yeah. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, yes. I saw that one. And then I saw something else that maybe you just posted because of, or you did a, maybe somebody asked you to do a video about um, what's going on in the world, or I don't know. But you saw, uh, I think well, you saw Marvin you know, Gaye. Oh, or was it my live or something that you saw? Probably. Yeah, yeah, probably live. your yeah, live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was amazing. Yeah, so I do, I do, I do Tony Terry Tuesday. Uh, every Tuesday at nine o'clock, I was doing it at eight, but I pushed it. Oh, nine okay. Uh, okay. So that's right. Okay. So I'm about that. Uh, yeah. So come check me out. If you're there. Yeah, y'all heard that, y'all. Yeah. Tuesday. Yeah, Everybody, well. tune in. Check out Tony Terry Pay. Y'all can follow him at Tony Terry on Facebook. So that's right. Make sure y'all right. tune in for that, and he'll bless y'all with his voice. So Tony, are you gonna bless us with a song today? Um, I, I could. You could. It's possible. I've been it's better. possible. I have been singing when I'm with you since yes. when. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've been singing. I was practicing because I was gonna sing to you if you would have came in the studio. Oh, but oh I'm, my I, I just want to hear you sing when I'm with you. That is my classic Brownie song. Points, Kim. I love that song. So, talk, yes. speaking about right. that song, Tony, um, do you write your own music, or did you write that song? I did not write with you. There's a great story behind with you. Uh, when I was in high school, I went to Duke Ellington, Duke Ellington School of the Arts in DC. And I had a crush on this young lady in high school. <laughs> I, I was nervous every time I saw her because she was the flyest girl in school. Uh -huh. And years later, after I signed my record deal, uh, another one of my friends, songwriter friend Raymond Reader, played the song chord. And by the time it got to, it's for real what I feel. Man. The first time I was like, stop it. When we cut the song, I got a picture. But then I asked him, 
why he wrote the song. And he, he says, you know this girl? He told me her name. Well, I'm not going to say her name. I was like, yeah, I know her. What about her? He was like, I wrote the song about her. I was like, well, how you going to write a song about my girl? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. The same she, 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 she must have been a dime she piece, huh? Yes. Too I, I, I was always too nervous to really let her know how I felt. You nervous? Did you say you was nervous? At that time, I was in high school. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. She must have been a yeah. bomb. If, she must have been a bomb if two two men uh, was uh, writing a song about the yeah, same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's interesting that that song was written about her. About her, wow. right? Okay. So cool. that's the reason why you sung it so well. You had her in mind, huh? No, well, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> At that time, I had just uh, won custody of my my daughter, who's now um, a mother herself, uh, and that's the reason I recorded. It. Because it was, it's a, it's a simple, beautiful, honest love song. Yes, it okay. is. Okay. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It is. Did you think it's that it would be when you did that song? Did you have any idea that it would be what it is? I mean, it's like um, everybody's love song. Everybody wedding song. Well, everybody's yeah. wedding. Song. Everybody wedding song. <laughs> well, well, firstly, I appreciate that. There, there are a whole bunch of scenarios that kind of okay. First. When, when it was time to choose the next single from my, my second album, I chose for you, right? And, and the label didn't think it was a good idea. They tried to talk me out of it. And I, I wasn't really interested in talking about it. I wasn't hearing it. So they released with you uh, as a, with a, I don't know if you know how radio was back in the 90s, but we had local, pro, uh, local record promoters that would take records to the radio station once a week. So they took my record to the radio station as a blank, nothing on it, no information, mm -hmm. and uh, which I think made the record stand out even more because of the play. But the radio started playing it. And then one day Anita Baker called me. Oh, and wow. to make a long story short, to make a long story short, Anita Baker gave me $50,000 oh, to wow. shoot the video for with you. And uh, she she hired Blair Underwood to direct it. Okay. And the, the rest is history. After that, that's some heavy. The song just blew yeah. up. It blew up. Yes, it did. And then I had to play. I had to play the poli You know, the political game, uh, because at that point, the record company decided that they knew it was a hit all along, even though they tried to talk me out. Oh mm. wow. That's the bad part about these radio companies. Haters. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta play politics, <laughs> and if you don't play the game, then, you know, they can easily, you know, just kind of do away with you. But you lived and learned. So I know you've been through some trying times, but you lived and you learned. Yeah, yeah. So tell me, what are yeah. you doing now? Like, what's up, what's up, what's up Tony's Terry's sleeve now? Um, uh, I signed with the Room Music Group. All right. And Good I'm job. working on a new project that's going to be coming out soon. Okay. Uh, I'm working on a song currently with gospel legend John P. Key. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, it's, called, it's called "Let Me Breathe." All right. Uh, and okay. what's going on with George Floyd? Yeah, it's real relevant. Yes. Yeah, it's actually a really powerful song. Very. Very. And you know, we just you know just trying to stay healthy. I hear that. Living a healthy <laughs> life. <laughs> so what you been doing in this quarantine time, Tony? <sighs> <laughs> well, you know, we in Georgia, so we've been open for a minute. But mm -hmm. early on, I have to say it was a little bit stressful. It was a little bit stressful. Mm -hmm. And my routine is basically I get up and, when I'm not on the road. I get up and go to the gym, go exercise. So I was still able to do that. But, you know, everything being closed down, we, we couldn't, you know, go right. to what we do. We couldn't work anymore. And so we're spending all this time in the house. We have a nice size house, but let me tell you something. <laughs> starting to get small. Yeah, starting to feel real small after yeah. you be in it for a long time, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, do you go to LA Fitness or you go to Planet Hollywood? <laughs> not Planet Fitness. Oh, not Planet Hollywood. If I tell you where I go, you might show up. <laughs> yeah, but hey, they're gonna show tell up and so many people told us to meet you there. They gonna be lined yeah. up outside. Well, I'm, I'm, just inboxes. I'm gonna hit the time. Yeah. I go to any time. 
hilarious. Yes, we're gonna get on the elliptical for you. <laughs> Come get your son. Come get your son. I cannot. <laughs> she is too much, Tony. Tony, I have a quick question. Um, so this is going back into your like career and stuff, and um, I just want to know what has been like the best performance of your career so far, or maybe like your favorite. The best performance. Yes. There've been a few. Um, okay. I toured with Roberta Flack for about 10 years. Awesome. All right. Uh, and uh, we played the we played the South African um, Jazz Festival uh, in uh, um, Johannesburg, South Africa. Oh, wow. Okay. And there was about 200,000 people there. Jeez. Oh, wow. I had never played an audience that day before. It was just... You know, in terms of audience size, it was just, it was just so impressive. Yeah. But also traveling with Roberta, she was such an icon, or is such an icon, that we did some of the, even though I've done some amazing things as Tony Terry, traveling with Roberta Flack, you know, we would do uh, command performances for kings, you know, of various countries, and they would fly us in their private 747 <laughs> chefs and all that kind of crazy stuff. But, Wow. It was just amazing to, you know, to living a good to life. Witness <laughs> and just, you know, yeah. Yeah. Well, I saw somewhere that you really trying to get into are you getting into acting more now? My career started as an actor. Oh, it did. I know that. Did. Yeah, no, I know that. Did. We didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. Now we know. So um, are you are you still um, you're in it so now? The, the first thing I did was my mom was saying. Maybe you have heard of that oh, show, okay. which was later turned into a movie. Okay. Um, I, I played Malcolm X in a movie last year called Martin Malcolm and Me, which is that song that you just yeah, played. I saw that. Okay. You kind of look from... just like Malcolm on that picture. <laughs> yeah, I kind of look like him. Yeah, you do. <laughs> I kind of look like him. Yeah. So I have a question about my my, my camera here. Is this, is this delay happening? Do y'all see that? No, no. Everything's good okay. over here. Okay, good. That quarantine life, that's what happens. <laughs> we live. Yeah, yeah. Technology is great when you That's works, why right? you should have been here. Mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> so look, we're going to have to reschedule. Home. We got to reschedule. Yes. And I got to come down and hang out. Yes, so. yes. 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 You come and hang out. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> Definitely. I love the set, too. Thank, thank you. Oh, thank you. We appreciate it. <laughs> we yeah. work hard for it. We have one empty couch right over there. It's like about 10 feet distance. So that you were supposed to be, be by yourself. <laughs> oh. You would have been six feet. You would have been social distance, Tony. No, nah, look. For real, for real, though. I need to come down there and hang out with you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you we do. We definitely we, reschedule. We love it. We, we love, love to have you here. We do. Um, <laughs> Tony, what what is it that you would like your fans to know about you? Like, you know, what what do you what do you want your fans to know about what's going on? Um, with you? Well, of course, there's new music. Uh, I want my fans to know that I appreciate that they are fans. I don't take it for granted that I'm still able to do what I love to do. Yes. Uh, yeah, I really don't. I take I, 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 that's very humbling, actually. Um, and so I I just want the world to know that, and that there's new music coming. I don't know what God has. I don't right. want to limit myself by saying what my plans are, right. but whatever God has for me, I'm it's ready. For you. That's right. Okay, right. well, there you go. So y'all heard it here. The man is still doing his thing. He's still singing. Yeah. He's got some new music coming. Yes. He's tra he's a personal trainer. Yes. He's doing... I'm going to have to sign up for some sessions Yes, here. honey. I need those yeah. lessons. Put me on the yeah. list, Tony. Put me on the list. <laughs> and just get those guns ready so you can carry me down the mountain. No, <laughs> yeah. no. But you got to carry me down. I'm, oh, I'm, my God. Tony, you're going to fall, okay? No, <laughs> no, he's not. Tony got this. He got He got <laughs> it. <laughs> The key is you got to warm up, you got to stretch. Stretch. You ready. That's the key. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> and the arms, those arms, that's the key too. Mm, Lord have mercy. <laughs> Y'all too much. So, can you bless us with your voice a little bit today? Yes. Um, Carl, you mm -hmm. I can do something out of the for you. You can sing whatever you like. I, you I, like. I really enjoyed uh, Change is Gonna Come, though. Yeah. You know, what would I think for you? Um, <laughs> you know, we got to put what you on the spot, Tony. Yeah. No, no, I'm not on the spot. It's just that, I mean, first of all, you can't put me on the spot when it comes to singing. 
that's what I do. Okay, I that's what you do. I okay, want, you better I say that. The music <laughs> band. I, I didn't have the music band for you guys, so I'm just going to do something I can Acapella, right? yeah. yeah go okay. Ahead. This song is called I'm Inspired by You. Okay. okay. Uh, so I'll just start with the verse that says, You're a light that shines on me. You changed my life, baby, can't you see? I could never repay you for what you've done. And I know for sure that you are the one just for who you are. You're a shining star. You turn my world around. Loving you, I find everywhere I go. I want the world to know because of you and what you do, my love for you will grow. I'm inspired by you. <laughs> yeah. oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, I just love you. I love it. Oh, I can listen great. to him sing all day. It is just amazing. I'll tell you what, though, my favorite, I know everyone loves with you, but yes. I am an everlasting love chick. I absolutely oh, I, I love that song. Can it's it's you, on rotation, it's on my playlist. Love. I do not like that song. You don't like, like it? I did not like it. Why not? Why not? Uh, it's an amazing it song. It was not my favorite. It did, but it, it blew up. So because it's a great song, song, Tony. But well, what's your favorite song, Tony? What's your favorite of your songs? Um. Well, I do. I do very much enjoy singing "Everlasting Love" now. But in no. the beginning, oh, okay. I did not. In the beginning. Think it was really good. Um. And there was a time when I did not even want to sing with you because everywhere I went. It was it, I couldn't get away from it. But, you, know, <laughs> you was eating, like, sleeping, was and breathing play, it, huh? I would do a play or something, and they would want to put with you in it, even if, even if it had nothing to do with the show at all. Well, honey, I'll tell you, I have yet to be at a wedding that does not play <laughs> that, that does song. Not play that song yeah. Or that do, they do right. not come down the aisle to that song. So you yes. did that, right. okay? That's right. a classic. It's a classic. Even on heavy rotation. I'm I have a song that's become the part of the fabric of people's lives. That's actually very humbling. And yes. that means it's bigger than me. Yes. Yes. Well, you are a blessing. It is, it's been great talking to you today. <laughs> Thank you for blessing us with your presence. I with y'all all night. <laughs> are you ready? <laughs> are you ready to hike with us? Come on, Tony, you think you can, the show. You think you can hide with these crazy crew? <laughs> yeah. This All crazy night. crew. Yeah, we're crazy. We're crazy. <laughs> we'll, we'll definitely paint Atlanta red, honey. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. No doubt. Hey, I would love to hang out with y'all. I'm going to come down there and hang out with you all. my challenge you guys to meet me. If not this weekend, a Saturday, meet me on the mountain. Let's get it in. All right. Okay. What time, Tony? You know what y'all tell me. We'll, we'll inbox you. We'll talk about this later. <laughs> Because Anna Lyon. So tell I'm me, not lying. I'll be there. Tell morning. people uh, what's coming up next for you again and uh, let people know how they can get a hold of you and where they can follow you and stuff at, Tony. I'm easy to find. I'm, uh, of course, on social media. My IG is Mr. Tony Terry and Facebook, Mr. Tony Terry. And same at Twitter. Uh, you hit me, I hit you back. Oh, okay. Is that easy? And what's is that coming, simple? You know, you know, I'm really looking forward to getting back to work, so there are quite a few projects that I'm working on. As I told you, I signed a music group, and uh, I'm, I'm working on that project. And I'm hoping to have it out by the summer, I mean, before the end of the summer, I should say. Okay. Uh, but you know, hey, we're still we're still in the midst of a pandemic, so I really can't say what's going to happen. Exactly. Right. It's so it, we're living in such an uncertain time. It's hard we to make plans know. to to do things. Right. So we just living day by day, day and by making day. it do what it do. Right. Exactly. <laughs> well, exactly. Anna wanted to ask you something because we do a hot topic every every show. So we're going to let All you right. lead us on into our hot topic for the day. All right. uh, so okay, we're going to ask go. you the question and you let us give us some feedback. Yes. So the hot topic for the day is um, would you delete your social media for a healthy relationship? Wow, okay, that's a good question. So um, I saw this question, I think, you know, 
you posed this question in the beginning of the show, right? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. we did. Right. Mm -hmm. And if the relationship is healthy, yeah, it wouldn't be an issue. Okay. Thank you. Mm, mm, mm. Was, you hear that? Now you hear that's that? That's a yes. simple answer. That's a simple answer. My girlfriend, yes. we that's debated about yes. We talked about this. That's exactly. Yes. That's because... a safe answer. No, but yeah. if your but if the relationship is healthy, it really wouldn't be an issue because. But what if it's no. not healthy? What if it's not what a if healthy it's not, relationship? What if they have an issue with it, Tony? If if okay, if the relationship is not healthy, do you really think that getting rid of social media will make it better? No. Mm -hmm. Now, another part, I know it's not on there, speak. but another part of the question is, so if you're on social media, right, and it might be a problem, and your significant other thinks that, you know, you're too much, whatever, but do you, would you follow each other on social media, or would you not, rather not follow each other nah. on social media to see, to um, not see what's going on? Uh, that's a good question, you know. Uh, you know, it just, I think it just depends on where, you know, the individuals are. Okay. Because right. it's hard to say. Now, if you're asking me if I would, well, you know, I don't really troll people's pages. Like, my wife has a page, and, um, and my my daughter has a page, and mm -hmm. my son has a page, but I couldn't tell you what's on it. What's on them? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I don't, you know, I'm not spending my time trolling people's pages. You know, so I'm would it be, like, more about trust, bag. then? Yeah. Trying to get that back. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> It's sure. more about trust. It's yeah, trust so would it be more about trust then? It's absolutely. Right. And if you don't trust each other, getting rid of your social media is not going to make that right. any better. It, it sure is not. Exactly. Okay. Right. And, I like and that also, answer. picture this. If, if a person is going to um, uh, be, uh, you know, display infidelity or something like that, they're going to do it anyway. You can't control what people will do. You got that right, Tony. You yes, right. say that. Because <laughs> what they, what they cheat at is in the DMs. Not on Facebook, but in the DMs. Yeah, right. the DMs. Yeah, you got to delete your they DMs. They're going to figure out a way if they that's gonna, what they want to do. Right. 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 Mm -hmm. right. Exactly. Yeah. So, well, how do you feel about that? Right, Toy. What's oh. your take on it? Oh, okay. We're going right on into it. Yeah. Let's go right on into it. Into it. <laughs> yeah. We are. Um, right on time. I had a discussion with my friend about it before the show, and uh, we kind of went back and forth. My girlfriend that I went on my road trip with, uh, we talked about it on the way back. I was just saying that uh, I don't think that I would. I don't. I don't think it should be necessary for me to delete my social media to appease my partner because if he trusts me, then it then, right. then that wouldn't even be. It, it shouldn't even be an issue. But my friend, she seemed to think different. Hopefully, she's gonna call in here. But uh, she, she well, seemed you know, to think people, different. I think sometimes people use their pages. You know, you know, like I don't really use. I, I don't use. I don't. I wouldn't attack my mate on my social <clears throat> media page. I mean, why would, I, you know, you can't put it out there like that. And if and if they're using it like that, then maybe getting rid of it might help. It may. <laughs> she was. Mate, she meant. To, well, she brought up the topic of what if it's an insecurity issue that they have and they let you know, well, you know, I don't know if they had an issue in their past relationship and it triggered something. So they don't, they prefer for you not to have a social right. media. Would you, if so your relationship was healthy? Or because your mate is insecure, I can't have a social media pass. Exactly. <laughs> right. <clears throat> If they That's ask your you, problem, not your problem. but they would be insecure. But you're trying to appease the social this person anyway. and make them. Yeah. The answer is Listen, no. Then you you appease the person on this one, and then you have to appease the person on, on that the next end, thing. right? And but then you have to appease the person on the next thing. I mean, where does it stop? Where does it stop? And so what it's I not say, really about the social media it has to be about the person because they can be insecure before right, social media. That's what I'm saying. Right. Exactly. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. And if it's a healthy you? relationship, the social media is not going to be an issue. Right. You're right. Um, well, Tony, they call me the uh, <laughs> the man of the crew because I, I, they say I think think like a man. Think like a man. Yeah, she does, though, Tony. She does. She's a tough one. Uh, <laughs> She's a tough hip. My my personal intake on that is it's no period because I feel like if I have to delete my social media just to make you happy, mm -hmm. then we're not gonna work in the first place. 
Right. My right. social media should not define uh, listen, our and that's happiness. Listen, that's not going to make them happy. It's not. That's just that thing, and then you'll have to do the next and thing. Yeah, that's that's right. Right. If I bend on right. that, then I'm going to have to bend on something else and keep right. bending and bending. Right. And, and I don't like to bend. <laughs> unless it's to bend right. to pick up money or tie my shoe. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. Is right. that all, that's the only bend that you're going to do, Sid? I mean, I don't want to say what I'm going to do. Yo, know. yeah. That's oh, good. my God. PG, PG, PG. We gonna keep it PG. She also the rated R one on the show, too, She Tony. sure is. Huh? So I'm glad she kept the PG. Thank you. <laughs> Woo, we we got, gonna keep oh, sitting in this crown warrior, but that's my answer. <laughs> <laughs> that's my answer. That's my intake. But you're going to work out with Tony, so he's going to have you bending a little bit. Oh, God. Okay. Well, Tony, I got a bad knee, so don't be having to do it too much. <laughs> he said he going to have you... Uh, you going? You got bad knees? I got a bad knee. One knee. One bad knee. One bad knee. I'm working on it. Okay. Like, they're the so love, sure have, and I'm the sure hips. So I got a lot of hips sure on this that one. There's a lot of love in here, huh? too. Make, make sure you have that knee braced. You, I you got know, you. This, again, it's about... It's about challenging yourself. You know, you want to, and at the end of the day, you want, you you have to be healthy. Right. Exactly. Well, I did it. If I you, did so much. We are we are and, and got all the money in the world. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, give us some personal mental. training tips, Tony. Give us a few little mental health, you... physical health, spiritual health. Okay. There mental, you go. spiritual, physical. Numb your whole ring. Oh, yes. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> all right. Hey, if that's, if that's your thing. If that's, that's your thing, thing right? That, Meditation is always no, good. I meditate yeah. every day. Do you? Yeah. Meditate. Every day. That's good. That's yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yes. It is. I have to because I have a my nerves are very bad, so I have to meditate. Oh, is that what helps for the nerves? Maybe I should start doing that. Yeah. Yeah, it absolutely would. Okay. Yeah. And yoga, I like to do yoga too. I like to stretch and like breathe. Okay, and like breathing exercises is good too, right? I take my stress out of the gym. Okay. At the gym, okay. How many? Yeah. How many That's times good, yeah. a um a day do you just work out once a day, or it what's depends your... on how stressful my day is? Oh, okay, okay. okay. Uh, you know, I, I have been twice. I have been three times in a day. Oh, right. oh, okay. That's, that's, why, Tony. that's why you got them guns right there. Tony. <laughs> yeah. no, right there hey. yeah. so, so you mix it you mix it up with weight training and cardio and all of that together? Yeah. You do a mix of it? Yeah. Okay, I got a question. Tony's Tony, laughing. what do you think about this? Everybody's on this keto diet. What do you feel about the keto diet? What's yeah. the keto diet? I don't know about it. Keto is where you are only doing oh, fat yeah. and veggies. Yeah. Or you're only yeah. doing like a meat and veggie. It's mostly like you're, fat. No, you're no it's like fat. You're uh, you're damn near no carbs, Tony. No carbohydrates. And dairy. I like you can do dairy. I like Cheetos. Cheetos is one of my weaknesses. Not Cheetos. I like Cheeto. your beer. Like <laughs> Keto. K E T O. Oh, keto. Keto. Yeah, Keto. He said okay, Cheeto. I was like, what is Cheeto? <laughs> I don't know about a Cheeto diet. Oh. Cheetos. Yeah. I'm going to have to check the Cheeto diet out. No. I see that you keep rubbing on your beard like you're hungry. You want to eat something? Yeah. That's hilarious. <laughs> he wants some Cheetos. Don't find a man um, Yeah, like that tiger. Uh, that I like tiger. to eat. I like to eat. Now, my crew has been trying to get me to go vegan. My mother uh, did the, I think her name is Tabitha or something. She's on Facebook. She's the vegan, the successful vegan. And my uh-huh. mom, she was going to do, she did the 30-day vegan challenge right. at the beginning of the, uh, the uh, pandemic. Uh-huh. And uh, she decided she was going to continue to be vegan, which is amazing because she lost so much weight. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's improved her health tremendously. Do you do those, do you, do you do those challenges or do you do... Like a special diet, or you just pretty much eat yeah. in moderation. No, I try to eat. I just try to be conscious of what I eat and eat what I want. Oh, okay. Because sometimes I walk down the high and dust aisle. But I if I deprive it. myself, then I might overdo it. Really, I mean, I, I you know. So if you deprive yourself, then you're overindulged when you get it. So they say it's eighty percent of what you eat and twenty percent workout. Is that true? Oh yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah, getting yeah. in shape is definitely in the kitchen. It, it's, it's food, most. I don't care how hard you work out. If you have a dirty diet, diet, you're not gonna get in shape. Okay, you heard it here. That's what Tony. I know, cause I work out and I might eat some meat and vegetables, but then late night I want a cookie. 
Yeah, oh, all the cravings oh, start oh, at night. What's going on? Night. Tony, why is that? that why are all the cravings start at night? It's real. Yeah, and it's even about ten o'clock at night. I want a cookie. Exactly. I want something. something sweet. What kind of cookie chocolate. though? What kind of cookie? Because I, I I go for the fudge stripes. Oh no, I do the uh, <laughs> uh, turtles. I make the turtle cookies in the oven. Uh oh. Oh, with a glass no. of milk? Oh my I god. I need the middle of the night. Oh, yes, yes. yes. something chocolate. That's when all my cravings kick yeah. in. Like 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock. I might Girl, be in bed and just think of something and sweet and then get up and, 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 and do no eat. My thing is I don't I don't keep a lot of junk in the house because I I, I my will is not is not strong. My father had a sweet tooth. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I'll get a snack and eat it. But I don't keep it stuck in the house. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's smart. So, what are some so what are some healthy snacks to keep in the house? Snickers. That's <laughs> not a healthy snack. <laughs> <laughs> they said it satisfies you, Tony. That's what I've no. been eating. It hasn't helped yet, Tony. Uh, I've been I mean, eating the fruits know, and keep, stuff. Keep, keep some fresh fruit around. Yeah, and, um, I've been drinking. I've been drinking amino acids, which I didn't. And I just started doing that because mm -hmm. sometimes I might skip a meal or something. You know, it helps. I, I can't skip nothing around here, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> I can't skip no meals now. I can do meat and vegetables and some fruits and yeah. meat and vegetables. The only but if I skip a meal, I'm going to be real angry. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get grouchy when you don't eat. Yeah. yeah. Lord. <laughs> well, Tony, it has been a pleasure having you on with us today. We are definitely going to set a date for you to either come back to the studio or for us to come and hang for out sure. with you. Yeah. Uh, sure. yeah, that sounds that sounds like a plan. Either way. Right. Hang out with me, or I come hang out with so we yeah. gonna do both. Yeah, we 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 gonna right, do that because you're right here in the ATL, so we can make that happen for for sure. That's what's up. All right, love having yeah. you on right. here. Keep dancing. Right, thank so you so much, much ladies. It was it was a pleasure. Again, you ladies are beautiful. Congratulations uh, on your set, on thank the show. You. Thank you so thank much. Thank you. Thank you for I'm having good. for, for being on our show. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Keep blessing us with your voice and with that smile. Uh, and keep in touch, Tony. And we're going to see you at that mountain, okay? Let we're definitely going to make it up there. Let, let, let lives matter. Black lives matter. Let let lives matter. <laughs> so. Oh, I love um, Tony. He was so sweet. Yeah, he was. Uh, his, he was. I love having him. He's just got a great spirit. He's so cool he in this late bed. Like, <laughs> yeah. He does. I love celebrities like that. They, yeah. they don't. They don't. They're not on their high horse. They're just. They're human. Yeah, we definitely they just look make a couple more zeros. Looking forward to having him on the uh, 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 he on was, the set again or either. Yes. Um, uh, you know, just hanging out with him. Yeah. He seemed like he's going to be fun. He to seemed hang like out he was a genuine like, good guy. He also seemed like he's going to kill us on that mountain. Well, that's okay. We, I back. bet that he's going to make a, make sure we get up that mountain. I bet you there I'm going to sit go. down. I'm going to go halfway <laughs> and sit down. Bring, uh, Kim, bring your snacks. <laughs> I'm going to put a whole book bag on. No, no turtle cookies, okay? Don't bring those with you. Snickers, like he said. <laughs> and Cheetos. I like yeah. peanuts. We got to get back on this topic, and we're going to get back on your topic, and then we got to uh, do uh, Around the House with KP. So let's just okay. touch on the topic a little bit more. And uh, yeah, so, really, because you really didn't say about how you felt about the topic. Yeah, so would you delete your social media for a healthy relationship? Um, I think I think I agree with everybody else, um, but I do get both sides of it. You know, uh, social media can be a little you know, tricky because you don't really know what's going on. And the DMs, yeah, yes. like you said. But in order to have a healthy relationship, you have to have trust. That's number one. So you have to be able to trust. And especially being out in the in the industry, you know, like the celebrities and everything like that, with that's their stuff that they do on social media. I mean they are they always have to put out their stuff on social media and that's one way to follow them and get all this information. So um I think that social media is kind of important nowadays. I was talking to somebody uh, <laughs> yesterday, actually, and they told me that back in the day, social media was like white pages and yellow pages. So it was really it was. It was. Like, uh, there right. already. Exactly. It was. So it really just depends on the person. If you're going to cheat or if you're going to do anything, you're just going to do it anyway, regardless of social media or it's not. not so so y'all call in and let us yeah. know, or either comment and let us know how y'all feel about it. Either about you like A, exactly. my answer, B, Toy's answer, <laughs> or C, Anna's answer. <laughs> my answer, I'm somewhere on the fence about it, but I'm, I'm leaning... Huh? Okay, so our producer said break those answers down. Okay, so yeah. A, me, my answer is hell no. 
Okay. Because <laughs> if I have to give up my social media just to appease you, then we don't need to be together. That's exactly. my answer. And B. B was, I'm sort of on the fence, uh, going both ways with that situation. Uh, if it really bothered them, then I would try to work out something with them to see if we can come to some type of compromise. But uh, I'm just not all for just, no, I'm just going to end my page. I'm not just going to end my social media for you. No. See? Yeah. Well, I'm the same way. I think our answer is the same. I don't think that you would delete your social media for a relationship. But. Right, so we got... Me and Anna, and then against yes. Toy. Yes, but you know, like we were discussing Toy, we weren't when you were on the trip. Yeah. And we discussed it earlier with our friend. Um, she was saying that you know, just kind of like if you're on a video games all day long, right? I mean, you're just into the video game so much that you forget everything else around you. It doesn't necessarily mean delete the video game. It just means make time for the video game, make time for your relationship, make time for the things that are important. So that's how you compromise. Mm -hmm. um, but don't delete the video game because you just make make time for it. So that's okay. just how I am. You can play the video games, but you can have an intermission. Just don't have Because you know if your husband or boyfriend DMs. playing a video game and you come out the shower butt naked, he better oh, stop playing that video go. game. I'm sure don't have would. issues. <laughs> With me, it's, I mean, I probably would just be full of questions about it. I'm like, yeah. what what exactly bothers you about me having having social media? Is it something on there? I, why are They're you possessive. insecure about They're it? Possessive. That's not necessarily yes. always the case, though. Why would a man want you to delete your social media then? I don't but know. You know what? Honestly, People have issues of, yeah. it has to be possessive. insecurity. You're insecure. It's insecure. You don't want no man to be in my DM, but you have to trust your exactly. woman to yes. handle the situation. And that's what I was telling mm. my friend, but she was totally opposite. I, about it, she was saying, friend? "What's her name?" Miss Shay, Miss Shay, Shay, Shay. I know it's about Shay, Shay. Yes, we are. Shay, Shay, but she said, on blast. Call us. she said that if it was uh, in order for her to maintain her relationship and it was no uh, for a healthy relationship, no she Shay. would give up her social media. And I was like, "Well, I, I wouldn't, and I don't understand why that would be a requirement." Come and on. the only reason, no. the only way that I would delete my social media is honestly, it would be for me because mm -hmm. I find myself so much like if you just go on your phone, you automatically, you wake up in the in the morning time, and you, you have one phone. eye open and you're already on Facebook, you you're do. already on Instagram. Before it's you like you stumble to the bathroom yep. and you already checked your Facebook and Instagram and every time I pick up my phone it's just an automatic thing. So that's the only reason why I would delete my social media is mm -hmm. to take a break from myself. Or not anybody on a date else. or you spend a one-on-one -on -one yes. time with your mate and you yeah. pick up the phone or if y'all don't exactly. have the conversation, then it's a problem because y'all right. always on the phone. Yeah, exactly. even like when you have dinner with your family, if all you know the kids these days, all they want to do is be on their phone. Exactly, yeah. that's all they want to do. Put your phone down because what if go play outside? If we didn't have the phone, <laughs> what would you do? You would have to talk. You would have to communicate. Yes. You can't send DMs. You can't text messages. You got to call me. Exactly. Right. Yeah. So talk. I just want to say shout out to Brian uh, K. Marshall. He's watching us, and he, yes, uh, he said that he's Brian. looking forward to coming back into the studio. He wants to come into the studio yes, and, and hang with us. Yeah. So we will definitely get that set oh, up with sure. you, Brian. You can comment. You can let us know how you feel about this subject. Yeah, if you're still come on, watching. Brian. Call in. Call oh, call just us. call us, Brian. You know, you can call us oh, anytime. You can call us anytime. Yes. 470-251-4647, Brian. <laughs> and Shay, call now. <laughs> yes. What did Call you say me before? In. Call me now. Call, Call me, me now. now. <laughs> she done went back to her Miss Cleo. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, call in. Shay, uh, she might be asleep, y'all, but it's, it's Yeah, not, we know how Shay does. Yeah, because, honey, she'll bump out on you real quick. Yeah, but, you'll be on the phone. But, uh, sleep, so, she may be asleep, but, because she was certain that she was going to call in today, but I told her I was going to speak on it anyway, her her comment about that. Yeah, you guys were having so, high blood pressure. And y'all call in, car. but in the meantime, when y'all call in, let's check on, let's get on my segment. It's time for around let's the house. Let's go, Let me just switch this show real quick. <laughs> so of course y'all know I have a segment called Around the House with your girl KP and it's just different things that I do around the house or out and about so it's just different clips that I do so of course I am learning how to be Betty Crocker Okay. <laughs> so I'm so producer let me know when you're ready to show my little ghetto clip oh gosh well, you should have brought some, clip. some ghetto clip. samples Cam you should have some samples no. I know Next you're time. cooking this week okay, exactly. I'm going to bring y'all something just yeah. okay. I, I got you okay I got you. I'm gonna make y'all something. As soon as our producer put our thing up, <laughs> I'm gonna show y'all how to make what I made. What's up, everyone? This is your girl KP. I'm gonna do another episode with Around the House with KP. As you know, we're living in a, a pandemic and a lot of people losing jobs, but it's a lot of companies and Everything that's helping pay bills, 
feeding you, giving you food, fruits, vegetables, whatever. But so today, I've been blessed with uh, two food boxes. Let me show you. Two. Both of my fruits and vegetables. Hmm. Can't wait to cook. Now, also, I went to the farmer's market. And you know, I know I love the farmer's market. So, I wanted to try... Since being in the house quarantine, I picked up a couple pounds. I know a lot of y'all have. Excuse my hair, but I'm wild. I'm on my natural Nubian. Uh, Erica Badu, Jill Scott. Um, <laughs> fight the power. Okay. But, so I went to the farmer's market today. And let me show you everything I got. So, I got a little of rosemary. Need a little flaxseed. Try to digest some of this stuff with my food. A lot of pink Himalayan salt. Hey, I love my curry powder. Bought me some cinnamon sticks. Uh, what else I got? Turmeric. Because I'm having the hardest time with my joints. And I got me some onions. Also got me some ginger digestive tea. And mango ginger tea. So, I have noticed I have gained a couple of pounds. And my knees is starting to hurt. Well, my right knee is starting to hurt. And I know I'm too young for any kind of knee surgery. So, I'm going to do it the right way and lose a couple of pounds. Sitting in the house being quarantined, all you want to do is eat, do your work, and lay down. But I got to learn how to be better. So, as of yesterday, I put into a full plan that I am going to start working out, doing better, living a healthier lifestyle. So, let me show you what I'm cooking tonight. I'm doing some huh, chicken thighs, and I'm going to do some green beans. Just meat and protein. Meat, protein, meat, protein. That's all I'm doing. So, I've already started my meat, so let me show you how it looks. Got the rosemary, turmeric on there. Whew, look at that. Looks good. Little, little pepper. Mmm, 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 mmm. Now, I also got some Italian seasoning, some soul food, a little, little salt, little black pepper, a little oil on the bottom of the pan. So, I'm going to get this started and have me a nice, healthy meal for tonight. Y'all stay tuned. Thought I seen a bug. Oh, bye. What's up, everyone? It's your girl, KP. I'm back. Like I previously said before, I've been blessed from a food bank and from my mom that she came over and dropped off all this food to me. Let me show you everything that's in the box. Look, we got cat. What is this? Lettuce? Lemons. Sweet potatoes. Oh, my God. Lord have mercy. Look at that. God is good. Anyway, sorry. Um, <laughs> onions. All kinds of stuff. Oh my God. Fresh fruits and vegetables. Oh my God. I can't wait to cook with this. Lord, I just love it. I love cooking with vegetables, chicken, especially now since I'm on my fruits and vegetables and meats only so I'm sorting everything out as you can see look everything on the floor breaking down everything trying to put everything in this refrigerator figuring out look at this what Lord have mercy blessed not, I'm not hurting over here but anyway y'all stay tuned I'm show y'all what my meal look like after I finish getting everything together it cook. Whew, this is going to be a good night for me. Y'all stay tuned. I'm around the house with Gary. With your girl, KP. I'm stuttering. Bye. What's up, everyone? I'm back. It's been about 45 minutes. Almost 47 minutes. And the chicken is ready. Let's take a look. Look at that. You can tell I already bit a piece of it off. Look how it looks. It looks amazing. 
Nice little burnt crust on top. Nice juices flowing. Nice. Can't wait to eat. <laughs> Enjoy your night. We yes. are back. Kim, that, that was, was a whole meal. I'm that was a so whole glad movie. that but we focused. Did y'all see the cucumber? Well, I'm so glad we focused on the cucumber special. Yes. <laughs> that cucumber special. Yes. Ooh, so did Lord. you make a salad with that cucumber, Kim? No. I ate green beans, like I said. <laughs> oh, okay. No side <laughs> salad? No. That's going to, you going to say the cucumber. I'm going to go home and make me a salad tonight with that cucumber. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no, it's okay. too late. No, it ain't too late. Ain't no nuts or thing too late. <laughs> I know so y'all see what this girl's been up to. She's been cooking, but she's trying to cook healthy though. So that's that's what's I'm up. Trying. We right. need samples next time. Uh huh. I want some of the old pot of collard greens up here and, and the bring cucumbers. Some chicken. Just bring put those in two. A, put it in some Tupperware. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Mm -hmm. Cause we wanna try it out, Kim. Yeah, oh, oh, I got you. Okay, I'm gonna yeah. okay. go take some. your word. You we are gonna see what you're working with. Cause you said you learned to be Betty Crocker. Now you starting to cook more since you've been. About this cooking. Because I've been spoiled, so every, I love men that can cook. <laughs> <clears throat> so Wait I'm learning how to cook what was myself. Oh, uh, okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> this girl is a nut child. Oh, okay. <laughs> so so y'all just stay tuned. We're gonna have some more around the around the house with KP. And Anna, oh, yeah. what's going on with uh After Dark? I know. With oh, uh, Russian well, Dog. Um, We're ready. That are you ready? Good. Yes, Bring I'm the ready cucumbers, to talk after Dog. Yes, I'm so, <laughs> yes, bottle. Anna, well, not Anna, but Russian Doll After Dark, it will be coming out probably weekday, there we go, After Dark with Russian Doll, live, so I am thinking about the next Wednesday, guys, which date is that? Like, I think it's the 20th. She's think thinking about it. Like, yes, she ain't even gotten a date. The 24th, I'm sorry, the 24th, yes. The 24th. We're okay. trying to talk live. It will be a weekday because I feel like more people will be t able to tune in. Mm -hmm. and, you know, so, exactly how, out. tell people how it's going to be formatted, so how are they going to be able to tune in? Uh, well, on Facebook, there they have the rooms now that you can do, so you can do like a live room, and mm -hmm. then people will just join in. That's how I think that's gonna go down. Room, yes, yeah, like it's like a yeah, room. Yeah, it's called a Facebook room. room. Facebook fans. So room. basically, kind of like a Zoom, only but you know, people not not a fans only now. I'm not selling anything on <laughs> on that, but <laughs> yeah. So it'll just be like a room, and then you can join and watch it live, and you know. Well, we're looking forward to that, yes. and um, I'm definitely looking forward to I that. am. I, I'm, I'm anxious to see that. <laughs> and uh, me, of course, I'm still doing the um, the on the beat with Toy Cherie and yes. uh, talking about all of these topics that we got going on in this world right now. Uh, trying to keep everybody abreast of what's going on with the coronavirus, mm -hmm. and speaking on uh, Black Lives Matter uh, movement, Lots. and as, you know, it's still a lot going on. Uh, <laughs> Uh, even this weekend, we had actually had another shooting, so uh, it, it sparks some more, you know, protesting and more uh, rioting, rioting here in Atlanta. So we just praying yeah. for the world and praying the things. Uh, did you see where they burnt down the Wendy's? Know, the Wendy's. Yeah, we got to continue. University. We got to continue yes. to down be. Down seventy five. We got to uh, continue to be vigilant and put our voices out there. Uh, but uh, you know, unfortunately, you know, we're tired of that. We're tired, so right. we really have to, um, you know, just make sure that people continue to hear our voices and uh, and just pray, really, you know, because it's it's a lot going on in the world. So y'all just stay tuned for on the beat with Toy Cherie. I will uh, right. stay um, safe, do my little live videos and pop yes. up and talk about uh, what's going on. I think so. we should do a protest. Love and hips go to a protest. Mm -hmm. Well, actually went to a protest couple I've weeks been asked ago. To go yeah, I really see Anna. Anna. Anna just on the forefront. I said, you better I go, was. girl. I was front row and center. And then I had a really but good I'm time. More, it was peaceful. I'm more on the level of what Dave Chappelle was saying. I'm going to leave that to the young folks because I ain't about to get out here. He said, fight the power. <laughs> but, uh, and uh, I'm going to let y'all young folks go on handle that. But and I will watch it from afar and I'll uh, keep everybody in tune on what I hear. And, yeah. Uh, that's that's going to be my... Uh, that's going to be my well, fortune. Well, if you ever need my somebody to come down there, let me go and grab my bat. I'm ready. Oh, Lord. She ready to turn up some stuff, Kim. <laughs> <laughs> this girl right here. I'm just playing. She's so <laughs> I think we She's have so rough. We don't know what we're going to do with her. Call her. <laughs> Loving hips. Hey, ladies. How you doing? Oh, hi, Charlie. Hey, Charlie. Hey, Charlie. Charlie. Wonderful show tonight. Thank well, thank you. you. Uh, we're going to announce our next guest, 
in a few days. So stay tuned. It's going to be a wonderful show. Okay, okay we're so right. excited. Right. So yeah. y'all, y'all stay tuned for our next our and, next guest. And and, uh, and and Kim is looking for a man that can cook. Oh, I ain't Ooh. looking for him. I ain't looking at all. I can go. She, I can go. I can go pull she up just real wanted, quick. She just wanted to put that out there in the universe, Charlie. That she. I like to be spoiled, to and I like a man to cook. cook. <laughs> but I'm learning how to cook too. Okay. But I ain't looking, boo. Before she gets somebody, so. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm definitely not looking. Sorry. He's, he said he has to check him out first. Oh, oh Lord. Man. All right, Charlie. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. All right. Bye. 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 <laughs> well, Charlie actually has a little cooking thing that he's been advertising. He does. That's what he was talking Charlie. about. That's what he was talking about because he's the man that yeah. can cook. Exactly. Oh, that he just hint? went off on Charlie. Was that a hint, hint, Charlie? <laughs> <laughs> Is he trying to feed me, Charlie? <laughs> I think he was just trying yeah, to promote the segment. Eat, Charlie. We got to sample his food and we got to sample y'all's food. That's so. right. We should have a cook-off. Love and Hips cook-off. So y'all stay, you guys stay tuned. Stay tuned. The Love and Hips. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Love and Hips out. Vision isn't hazy, then who do you see?